In the wake of the Poway Synagogue shooting and other disturbing hate crimes, a forum was held at Cal State San Marcos tonight to help educate and empower the community. News 8's Richard Allen is live with more on the concerns discussed tonight. Richard. And Carlo, this was a no, one of a number of hate crime forums being held throughout the county, both this summer and this fall. Now, California actually has some of the toughest hate crime laws in the country. Despite that, though, the number of reported hate crimes statewide has continued to increase, especially crimes targeting both the Jewish community and Latino communities. So it's a tricky time in the United States. It's a dark time in the United States for hate and extremism. As the number of reported hate crimes spikes across the country, California has seen a particularly alarming rise in the last several years. I'm in mean, California, for example. Last year we saw a 22% increase in anti-Semitic hate crimes throughout the state. We saw increases in hate crimes against Latinos. Wednesday night's forum at Cal State San Marcos on hate crimes, organized by the San Diego Regional Hate Crimes Coalition, gathered community members both to educate and to empower. We are stronger together and we must come together as a community and as a culture. This comes in the wake of a number of recent mass shootings, including in El Paso, where the shooter allegedly targeted Latinos. Locally, our communities are still dealing with the mosque arson in Escondido and the Chabad of Poway shooting in April, among other incidents. In San Diego County, we've seen swastikas on La Jolla sidewalks. We've seen bullying in East County against refugees. We've seen demonstrations by white nationalists at local parks. One of the most critical ways of combating these types of hate crimes is speaking out and reporting them. We ask that people just report, even if they don't think it's a hate crime, if there's threats or bullying, because we understand that that might turn into a hate crime in the future. If you see something, say something. It's very important. Um, and to drive home the importance of reporting suspicious activity, signs like this were distributed at tonight's forum. Now, for more information on how to report a potential hate crime anonymously, just go to the CWSanDiego.com and click on the hot button. Carlo and Barbara Lee. Richard, thank you.